ladies and gentlemen how are you doing uh very lovely subscribers we're back again of course it's been a very fantastic time here having a lot more fun it's been a while but yes we're back here dropping another video my name is eric kawa as usual and we are down here in egypt the city of cairo and I have with me a young Kenyan brother what's up he's a man he's charlie a man. charlie what's your name eric kawa <laughs> <laughs> what's your name nasif 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 Dauda is the name from Ghana, the People's Republic of Ghana. Hey, my Ghanaian people. Ghana. Akwaba. <laughs> is that what you say? Akwaba. Oh, that's welcome. Yeah. So, it's a time. It's a Etisain. Yeah. It's a sign, my Ghanaian people. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Right. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's how we're going to start this conversation going. Of course, you're here for the African Presidential Leadership Program, the yeah. APLP. And we're rocking it down to the... How? What week is this? Fourth week? Um... Fifth, fifth week, fifth week, fifth week. Fifth week. just like we in the fifth week, fifth week. Yeah. Okay, yes, but then we have like few more weeks, like two weeks to finish. Uh, three weeks. Which, Somebody reminded me actually that okay. um, it's three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, just few more time to go. But hey, very, <laughs> very, very hectic days ahead. Yeah. But then we are here. I mean, young people drawn across different African countries, looking up from the east, west, south, and of course the central. And north as well so we're here to discuss issues that have to do with youth that have to do with entrepreneurship that have to do with communication that have to do with a lot lot more other issues first off tell us about what you do back at home and how has that helped you to shape your knowledge back here okay um, I'm actually an entrepreneur mm. um, I was working in the hospital as um, an IT okay and then procurement um, what I do exactly is an agricultural entrepreneur. Okay. Um, so I aggregate smallholder farmers mm -hmm. and then I use technology to solve their basic problems um, okay. as well as financing them. Um, you must be a rich man. I'm not a rich man. <laughs> you finance the business people. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's in a different form. In a different yeah, form. Yeah, different you serve form. as the uh, like, intermediary. Yeah. Okay. So I you provide it. logistics um, for these smaller farmers. Yeah. Okay. So then you also have you just spoke about having something on photography. Yeah. Can you tell me more about your skills in photography and how do you do like you know capturing images and what actually brought the passion for photography? Okay. Um. Yeah. Photography yeah. is uh, wasn't something I was really much interested in until okay. um, I wanted to meet a whole lot of people uh, okay. and then get a view their views on um uh, issues so i decided to get on a camera and okay. then started to move along um okay um so far it's been good um, i learned it myself i learned it myself uh through youtube uh, videos okay and um i'm actually making um progress yeah. okay so then tell me about um, the experiences so far that you've gotten in Cairo and Egypt in general. And after that, we head to the Ghanaian local dialect and cultures, a lot more things in Ghana. Okay. Um, uh, personally, um, I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. And then coming to this program, um, it's a whole new um, war game. Okay. Um, some of the topics that um, we treat uh, in class is somehow very um, different from what I've learned back in my country with okay. um, a lot of stimulations, um, a lot of uh, practical um, solutions um, okay. that we bring on board. Mm -hmm. um, I, I must admit that um, it has really broadened uh, my idea and general um, okay. knowledge about um, what I'm doing and then getting a whole new different perspective from other people okay so then how do you hope to take back the message to the people you're working with in ghana okay um um i would uh use um the acquired skills and knowledge okay. from um, aplp program mm -hmm. uh, to train my um uh, volunteers and then my um the people I'm working with. Definitely. Yeah. So now let's come back to Ghana. I mean, I've been there once in 2015 and then I loved the culture, the Ghanaian culture. I love the food. I love the cane cane. I love the, what is it again? Um, is it Banku? 
you know, and what else? Um, you no know, roasted plantain. Roasted plantain. Yes, and all of those. Things. And then, yeah. So uh, tell us more about this. With how do they prepare them, and what regions or where precisely do they eat what and what? Okay. Um, fufu is actually for the Akan people. Akan. It is okay. made from cassava and okay. then um, plantain. Okay. Yes, and then it's taken mostly taken with um, light soup. Okay, okra that, sometimes because we also have it in, in our country, Sierra Leone. Uh, mostly you know, it's, you know, you know it's, it's, it's a West African thing. Yeah, yeah it's yes. a West African thing. All right, yeah. And then um, we also have a wache, which is made from beans, and then okay. um, the local rice. Okay. With um, a little pepper. Wow. To make it very Speaking delicious. about pepper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we have so many dishes mm-hmm. like um, um, tozafi, which okay. is made from also um, uh, flour. Okay. That's maize flour. Okay. Um, and then it goes with this leafy um, thai, uh How do you call it? Like spinach. Uh, spinach. Yeah, okay. Spinach. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much so good. If you haven't been to Ghana and or if you're going there now, you have to think about the cuisines and don't forget Banku and Ken because they are one of my favorite. Anyway. You have to try that. <laughs> Definitely. So now let's go to the language. You spoke about the Akan just now. Yeah. We have the Chui, which is also which no. we introduce ourselves with. No. That is um the Akan is um the language itself is Chi. Oh the language itself yes. is Chui, the people yes. are Akan. Akan, yeah. So Akan. give us more, delve more into the ethnicities. Okay, um, we have the um, Fantis. Okay. They are also um, related to the Akan. Okay. Emperor. And they speak Fanti. Fanti. Um, okay. We also have the Dagombes that are from the northern part of Ghana. Okay. Um, we have the uh, Sesala, Mampusi, um, Kotokoli, um, a whole lot of tribes. I is think it it's a. Ewe or Iwe? Ewe, that is okay. um, the no- southern part. Okay. Southern part okay. of Ghana. All right. Yeah, so which one do you speak? Um, for me, um, I speak mm. um, Asante. Asante. That is Pi. Okay. Asante Pi. Okay. Um, I speak um, a little bit of Fanti. Okay. I speak. Um, uh, this is a borrowed something. Ah, I think it's from Nigeria. Oh, okay, <laughs> I wanted to ask you that question. <laughs> it's a borrowed yeah. something, so okay. I also speak that. So then, how do we greet? We finally. Or ending the interview, but then how do we greet in these languages? Uh, okay, um, with um, the Chi, mm-hmm. we greet um, uh, Machi, uh, that is for the morning. For the morning, Machi. Maha, okay, Maha. that is um, for the afternoon. Afternoon, okay. And then um, the evening is Yenya. Uh, Yemya. Yeah, but uh, we have a general one that you can okay. say, like if um, an elderly person greets you, okay. you say, okay, uh, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Yeah. How about the Etisane? Etisane, yeah. Etisane is how are you? That is in yeah. Chui as well. That is in Chui. All right, that's cool. And then in Hausa? And then in Hausa, um, um, if you want to say, um, how are you, you yeah. say, um, Yakeke. Yakeke. Yeah, Yakeke. All right. And then, um, yeah, I think the greetings are. Um, okay. Are also quite um, diverse, yeah, depending diverse. on the situation, situation and yeah. depending on the context and the people you talk to as well. Because yeah, that's sure. how language could be many a time in Africa. So then, thank you so much, Nas. He's been Nas. I usually call him Nas Aremi Nas. Yeah. But that's not his name anyway. It's Nasi for that's that. Not me, yeah. That's not me. All right. Thank you so much, guys. It's been a fantastic time following up with the video. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Of course, pr- click as well the notification bell for more information and more video content. Eric Kawa saying goodbye. Cheers and have a very splendid day.